Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. So of late I have seen a lot of people messaging me uh, related to their uh, succulent and I have seen the most common succulent that is getting affected at this point of time due to high temperature or due to summer is uh, the Graptoveria Margaret Repin. Uh, this is the succulent that you're seeing in front of you. Now in most cases I have noticed that a lot of people have overwatered the succulent but apart from that uh, even high temperature or a lot of direct sunlight especially after 12 noon can easily uh, damage this succulent a lot of people are having issues with a stem rot uh, now some people have overwatered some people have you know uh, watered it during the afternoons whereas some people are having issues with uh, the stem rot now this is mainly due to the environment because the temperatures are changing uh, it was cold all this while and now it's suddenly getting a little bit warm. Uh, that's why ensure that you do not water your succulents during the afternoons. Uh, please avoid watering after 10 a.m. Uh, from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. Please do not add any water in the soil. A lot of times succulents do get rotted when there is a lot of heat during the daytime. Uh, the best thing what you can do is water early in the morning around 6 a.m or the best what I tend to do is I tend to water my succulents after uh, 4 35 p.m. that's when I water so that they have uh, a moist soil while they are uh, photosynthesizing during the night time so uh, please avoid watering in the afternoons apart from that do not over water the succulent you can see my succulent the leaves are completely closed inwards it is a little bit under watered uh, but I will be watering it in some days, probably tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So I prefer to keep them uh, slightly underwatered, but again, not excessively, especially during summers. We need to ensure that we do not uh, dehydrate them a lot because of the heat. They can easily get rotted. This is a very tricky season or very tricky uh, climate for a lot of succulents and for people who are from an environment which tends to get uh, heated up you might have a lot of issues but i prefer to keep my succulents slightly underwater as you can see over here uh, all of the leaves are closing inwards and as i said i will be uh, watering them very soon uh, so far i have felt that this variety is very sensitive this graptoveria variety is very sensitive to overwatering and too much of heat they can easily get rotted so be extremely careful as i've already mentioned this in my last video uh, because the summers are over here uh, please do not expose your succulents after 11 a.m. Uh, try to move back your succulents. You can offer them a good amount of indirect bright light that has a very good intensity. The succulent will not stretch in an uh, environment where there is a lot of indirect bright light with a good amount of intensity. The succulent will not stretch. Yes, the colors will reduce. That's absolutely fine. Over here, we need to focus more on the health of the succulent rather than the succulent getting color. Uh, right now, I'm not focusing on any color. I'm not uh, stressing any of my succulents. I will stress my succulents during the winters. Right now, for me, it's more about keeping the succulent alive. Uh, the reason why I slightly keep it underwatered is because anytime, because the climate is getting warm, it can rain anytime, especially during the night time. So that's why I keep them slightly underwatered. So in case if I don't notice and if they get wet in the rain, they can still survive. So that is the only reason I keep them uh, slightly underwatered. But at the same time, I'm not exposing them to a lot of direct sunlight. When your succulent is dehydrated and it is exposed to direct sunlight, then there can be a chance of a dry rot. So ensure that you are giving them a good amount of light. Do not expose them after 11 a.m. Probably if your city tends to experience a lot of heat, then don't expose them after 10 a.m. This all depends upon your environment and climate. If you feel uncomfortable, you can understand how your succulents are going to feel. So be extremely careful. Uh, have a proper schedule of watering wherein you're not watering it excessively. At the same time, you're not keeping them dehydrated for a very long time. So that's about it. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep planting.